guys welcome to my video so this is the second part of the series which we are making to make our rocket games our space shooter so uh, in the in this video today we're going to be learning how to make the opponent fire bullets on its own and how to reset our bullets so when we fire it uh, we get to fire it again so let's head into it so I'll open a new tab, go in code.org, uh, I'll just carry on from my project which I was making um, in my previous video so if you want to uh, look at my previous video its link is in the description below so I'm just gonna let my code.org open <laughs> sometimes it just takes a lot of time yeah and there we go so this was our game which we were making in our previous video and here it is so I'll just uh, run it for you to show you what uh, to how much we reached so we could move the um, enemy I mean we can move our us the us sprite and we could fire bullets with it uh, when we pressed our space key and uh, and the uh, enemy the enemy ship it was moving on its own so uh, let's first of all let's just make the resetting function so that when we fire our bullet it should come back to us so if I fire it once and I I've now I press space again my bullet it should come back so right now uh, it's not coming back and I only get to fire my bullet once so I'll make another function go in my function and drag in the function so I'll name it reset and inside this function reset we we will put an if condition so what we'll write in our if condition is that if our bullet uh, dot x the y sorry bullet dot y is less than zero I'll just check yeah if our bullet dot y is less than zero then our bullet it should come back to its original place and it should then um if we press space again it should have a velocity so i'll just make it reset to its original position which was um which was bullet dot x equals to us dot x and bullet dot y equals to us dot y okay um and now i'll also give it a velocity a velocity so i'll go into my sprites section and drag in um oh no sorry we don't have to do that yeah and i'll just call the program I'll just call the program okay function reset and I'll run it here for you and when I fire my bullet it keeps on firing on their own as you can see I'm not pressing any key but wherever I go my bullet they're firing on their own so the reason for that is um, because we are not saying uh, that we should we are not adding an and condition to our if statement which we wrote in our if condition so we have to add an and condition in over here which states that if our bullet dot y is less than zero and we've pressed the space key so that what's, what's what that is going to do is that when we press the space key and our bullet it's more than uh, it's sorry it's less than zero then only our um our bullet it will fire okay so i'll go to my math area and i'll add my and uh, i'll just stick this for now over here and i'll add and and put this back over here and i'll write key down space 
artist find key down space so now I'll run it and when I fire you can see that it's not going on its own and when I press my space key again only then my bullets firing so uh, we've made the reset function now and now what we're gonna do is that we are going to make a bullet so that another bullet so that our enemy can fire on its own as well so this will give a nice challenge to our to anyone who plays our game so i'll add a new uh, sprite var i'll name it bullet two and i'll give it the position of enemy dot x and enemy dot y and we don't need these two i'll give it an animation bullet dot set animation we can give it the same animation as we did for our bullet the normal bullet so that's done and now we'll give it the same scale as we did for our first the first bullet so bullet two dot scale equals 0 0.05 because that's what we've done over here and uh, firstly, I'll over, uh, of course, I'll make it invisible. So sprite dot visible, bullet two dot visible equals to false. Okay. So now I'll make another function which lets us fire. Uh, which sorry, not lets us, but the computer it fires on its own. So the enemy, it should fire on its own. So I'll go to my functions, drag in a new function, and I'll name it fire enemy fire. I'll just name it enemy fire. So now. I'll write our bullet dot two. So first of all, our bullet dot two needs to be the position which um, it needs to be the position which uh, the rocket, the enemy dot x or y has. But we've already gave that position at the really top, as we can, as you probably remember. Where bullet two equals creates right enemy dot x and enemy dot y. So all I have to do over here is, uh, of course, I need to add a velocity. So uh, I'll add a velocity, which will be like bullet two dot velocity y equals to um, the first bullet. It had a vel a velocity of let me just check it has a velocity of my uh, minus seven so we'll make this positive seven because our um, our this bullet should go the other way around so uh, also I'll make it visible so bullet to dot visible equals to true and I'll call that function in our function bra so enemy fire i'll run it and as you can see our um our enemy it fires a bullet right over there so now all we have to do which is left in our program to make it work to make it uh, perfect is that we need to add another reset function but the only difference is that this will be for our enemy bullet our bullet too so i'll drag in the other function i'll name it reset two so, uh, and over here i'll write if uh, with an if condition if our 
um, enemy dot x sorry bullet dot x is uh, more than 400 because that's the y value the 400 is the y value uh, over here uh, oh, if our enemy dot x is more than 400 so I'll just grab this if our bullet two dot x is less than four hundred or four hundred oh sorry the opposite way around control x yeah if our bullet dot bullet two dot x is more than four hundred then it should have the same position as it did in the beginning or we can just assign it the us dot x and uh, us dot y the enemy dot x and enemy dot y so i'll just go into my sprites i'll drag in the dot sprite dot x and sprite dot y i'll name this enemy dot x equals to our bullet two dot x or our bullet two dot x equals to our enemy dot x and our bullet two dot y equals to our enemy dot y i'll call the program the function sorry um, my function reset to i'll run it and you could see that it just went through and didn't come back to my enemy the the enemy it just did that and the bullet didn't come back so that is because we wrote over here that a bullet 400 is less than bullet 2.x while it should be bullet 2.y so i'll just write that over here bullet 2.y so now you'll see in our program that uh, our um, spaceship our enemy it's firing multiple times without me doing anything and when I fire it also then uh, I can shoot again but you'll see that first of all the enemy's fire it's still firing again and again and again so to stop that what I'll do is um, I'll add over here that um, our enemy it should um, uh, in our enemy file i'll write if enemy so i'll actually add another variable i'll add another variable i can name it anything i'll just name it um destroy i'll give it a starting value of zero and further in our code when we have told our enemy that if our bullet is touching with the enemy it should destroy i'll change the value of our destroy of our variable destroy which we had made earlier to one destroy equals to one and uh, further down in the enemy fire I've, i'm going to write i'm going to add an if condition stating that if my uh, dis, um, destroy if my destroy equals to um sorry this is an, if my destroy equals to one then our um bullet no no sorry the bullet two it's first of all it shouldn't be visible bullet two dot visible equals to false and it should not have any velocity y so bullet two dot velocity y equals to zero so now i'll run the program and when i destroy my um enemy you can see that no more bullets are firing on their own from the um from the enemy so now all we have to do which is left is that when our enemy fires us so when we crash with the enemy's bullet we should be like our ship it should be destroyed so to do that i'll make another function which will say we can name anything like destroyed 
and i'll write i'll add an if condition saying that if my uh, if bullet 2 actually if bullet 2 is touching my us if i'll just write bullet 2 dot is touching us because that's the name of our ship bullet 2 dot is touching us then we should destroy and the uh, and there should be a sound produced so i'll just uh, add the destroy function um, i'll say us dot destroy and a sound should be generated so we can do that with the play sound uh, in the world in the world area and we can choose any one of these sounds i'm going to cho uh, choose uh, explosion sound and you can choose any one of these i'll just choose this one playful game explosion okay so now i'll just call this function in my function draw uh, functions destroyed and i'll run it when the bullet it hits me or when it hits our ship we get destroyed and a sound is produced so that is it for this video and in our next part of the video we will finally finish our game and uh, you know we will add the game states the end screen and the start screen and then we will have a game finished so that's it for today guys and see you next time